Hey guys, what's up? Welcome, welcome to Throttle with GK. I'm Gokul. I'm Pipi Comic GK. So guys, in the last episode you have seen, we reached Annur. Now we are at Karnama Bete. You guys may be wondering what is he doing here so fast without vlogging. So the reason and all I tell in motor vlog, I stopped here for breakfast actually. So now I'll start the next part. So let's get ready now and uh, we'll move. And guys, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell icon. So let's get ready and go with the flow. Sir, okay, where are you? So finally, I'm leaving from here now. <sighs> These Hannas were like, uh, I was actually getting ready. So that time they came to me and uh, they started asking about me. <sighs> oh my God, just miss. So they were like, uh, where are you from? Uh, where you're going, how many days travel, this, that and all. Everything about traveling. It was fun talking to them. They spoke nicely. So, we are leaving now from the hotel. I had those uh, mo since morning I didn't have anything. So, I stopped and had food now. It was good. It was too hot now guys. Like seriously. Too, too, too hot. Uh, so, I didn't wear any uh, gloves and all. Because I removed my uh, thermal liner. Also. I had put thermal liner while leaving from Masnagadi. So I removed that one also. So now direct to uh, Monar non-stop. So as I was telling that time, uh, you guys might be wondering oh, what is this guy doing in uh, Karnamukuni? Karnamo, I forgot the name. So from Annur, I actually uh, started searching for hotels. I ended the last episode there. Then I started searching for hotels for breakfast. But I didn't find any uh, safe spot like uh, proper hotel so i thought let's go friend as much as possible then we'll stop for breakfast and then only we'll start the next part so that's what that's how i came to karnamma kudi i guess karnamma what was the name okay now i forgot the name so now another uh, 3 hours 45 minutes more Google map is uh, saying we'll reach by 320 now so let's see if possible we'll go fast another 140 kilometers that's it so we'll try reaching at the earliest now so guys I was coming cruising and uh, all of a sudden I started feeling that my uh, back tire is wobbling a little bit I don't know why is that so I I was on call with Danu bro and uh, Rajal bro so they told me to go to Royal Enfield, nearby Royal Enfield and uh, check the wheel bearings and all. So now I'm going there, I'll change the Google Maps to Royal Enfield showroom nearby. It is at Udumalapete, which is around 7.3 kilometers from here. So Google Map is saying 13 minutes. So let's go there first, we'll check what is it and then uh, we'll leave from there. Hopefully nothing has happened. So why to take risk? So I decided we'll go to Royal Enfield showroom only. They'll check it properly at least and give. So let's see. So finally we reached the Royal Enfield showroom now. It's at Rudumilipete. So I've told them the complaints. They told 10 minutes they'll take it for a test drive and they'll see what is the problem. They were like it may be because of the backpack also. Like I kept a backpack in my billion seat. So there are possibilities that it's because of that. So they told they'll check it. They'll check it now and they'll take it for a test drive. And I told them to loop the bike also because I mean loop the chain. Because uh, it's been more than 600 kilometers, I guess, yeah, uh, around more than 500 kilometers. So I told them to check it now. So we'll see what is it and then I'll continue. So there is our bike. We'll see what is it and then I'll continue. So finally I'm leaving from the Royal Enfield showroom now. I actually filled petrol also. Nearby there was petrol pump. So what had happened is uh, I've kept a, a backpack in my pillion seat, right? So that is the only reason now uh, that wobbling effect is there it seems even he saw that properly the tire fitting everything is proper it seems only because of the backpack all this issue like the wobbling effect so he told uh, it is proper only so no tension then uh, they looped the chain also and gave for me so everything is done and i also bought a chain loop because uh, my old one old bottle is empty so i bought a new one in Mangalore for chain lubing, they do it for free actually. 
but here they charged me uh, two uh, no 140 rupees 140 rupees for chain looping like they cleaned the chain and also they looped it see one more person no indicator nothing so they charged 140 rupees for chain loop and 200 rupees for the bottle so now we are on our way to munar no problems that time one scene had happened guys same like this one person went right like that time what happened is same scene one uh, tvs excel guy i guess he was in the left like after this line and all of a sudden i was cruising in 100 and right in front of me like suddenly he came in between like there was a right road inside so all of a sudden he took from left to right without putting indicator nor seeing back nor giving a hand signal nothing i shouted at him so badly i got so angry because first of all it's his mistake okay i was in a cruising speed 100 i could i did control but in case if it was someone else who couldn't control then both of us like the person who was driving for example me i as well as that person who crossed the road both of us would be in danger oh i have to take that road it's fine so it would have been a risk for both of us people here don't understand that i shouted so badly he heard that but still he didn't stop not turn back and say one sorry i got so angry that time and i started shivering it was that close it was unfortunately my camera was off i was on call with danu bro as you heard that time so just to miss just to miss just to miss i got so scared you know like it would have literally harmed me so badly one thing my bike would go for me also no much damage like maybe some uh, sprain or fracture might happen okay that is also huge damage but i have gears okay fine but that person who came in front did not have helmet also so for the speed in which i was there if i would have dashed him it would have been a huge accident which would which would make him lose his life also because no helmet first of all so if i would have hit with that speed he would have gone far from his bike and his head would pucka hit the ground so it would have been a huge problem <sighs> please guys please wear helmet and please give indicators and if your indicator is not working at least use hand signal see back see through the mirror turn back in case if you don't have mirror turn back turn back and see if there is any other uh, vehicle don't cross blindly it's very risky for you as well as the person who is coming i started shivering so badly after that incident you know just to miss guys i like i was in 100 and when that scene happened i did the emergency braking gear down and uh, emergency braking and i came to zero within a uh, fraction of seconds i'll say it was that close it was so munar is another 88 kilometers we have to take left here so we'll go cruising now city road so we have to be a bit careful so let's see we'll go cruising now so finally we are entering annamalai tiger reserve this is a check post so we had to pay 20 rupees for as entry fees do not feel the wild animals violators will be prosecuted so let's go now we paid the 20 rupees got the slip let's enter annamalai tiger reserve this is the third tiger reserve i'm entering first was bandipur then came Mudumalai, then now came, what is this? Annamalai. I forgot this one's name. Just now I saw memory loss. Never mind. Hopefully I get some animal sightings here. Let's go. Another uh, 68 kilometers to Munar. Yes. Finally one of my dream location is coming. Actually Munar is one of my dream locations. So finally the dream is coming true. Yes. I'm happy, super excited. 
it's a bit hot now but uh, i'm super excited full energetic so let's enjoy this road now So finally we are entering Kerala now. This is Kerala now. We are entering Kerala. Once again we have to pay I guess here. I don't know. Let's check. Let's check what is it. So we can go. So finally we are inside Kerala. Yes. Finally our last destination is on the way. We have almost reached now. We have entered our last state actually now. Kerala. God's own country. Here I come. Don't disappoint me please. Give me some good animal sightings. Are there some deers? So yeah, guys, I'll end this vlog here, and yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I'll end this vlog here because uh, still we have a lot of distance to go, and I'm pretty sure if I add that in the same vlog, it'll be a little too long one. So I'll see you guys in the next one. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. In case if you did, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, bye bye. Take care. Ride safe. Be safe. Peace.